afternoon everybody. Tuesday 22nd of October and it is two o'clock in the afternoon. So here we are for tile number 487. Well, at least I think that's it. I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong. What do I have with me today? I have one of our dark blue from our regular tiles and I've used some navy blue ink to actually ink around the edges to give it a slightly darker feel. Excuse me, just made my cup of tea. <laughs> and it, you might want to sort of think, oh, I'm going to use a white gel pen. I'm still going to use a black, but I'm going to use my white chalk pencil to give it a little bit of shading. So let's just see how we go, shall we? Starting with pencil as we go. I'm going to go in one of the corners, doesn't matter which. I say, come on, I'm going to go with this one kind of thing. And I want to put a bubble here. And of course, if you've got the red ruler, you can go ahead and you can put your bubble in there. Oh, here we go. Actually, I'm going to go up a little bit. See, because it's in pencil, it doesn't matter. I can change my mind. All right. Okay, there's my first bit. I think I'm going to come straight in with pen, actually, and do something with that. Oh, so here we go. I'm going to go in a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to put bubbles in, but I'm going to actually sort of link them. You see, so they're like a loop. Sometimes it's nice to do that, just... Feels kind of nice. And you see it gives that sort of deeper edge at the bottom there. I'm going to work my way around. So I'm using a five fine liner as well. It gives it a little bit of depth to it. There we go. We're around. It doesn't matter if it's not an exact bubble. It's fine. Let's do that again. I'm going to fill in underneath. Pull them in a little bit of a shape. And then I can get another one. Oh, which way am I going? That way. <laughs> In the bottom there. Okay. So, back into pencil. And I'm going to put myself another bubble around this. I'm going to go too big. Some, you know, a decent, a decent size there. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to do another one around that one. So this is a kind of the same size as the before. If you look at that depth and that depth, they're about the same. Along we go. Okay. So I'm going to come straight in with pen now. I'm not going to worry about splitting anything up, things like that. I'm just going to go for it. So I'll start kind of 12 o'clock-ish. I'm going to put in... Loop. So I'm back to my O3 now. You see the difference. Okay. And let's do one at the bottom. Like so. So if I turn it round, same sort of thing. One there. And one there. So I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to split up my space. One in there. Now it depends how wide your petals are as to how wide or how many of these you're going to need. See, so those into there. So I've got that. And then I reckon I'm going to get another one in the middle. So I'm going to kind of make it happen. If you think the, that the space is too wide, you can always put two in. Or you can have one going slightly behind another. So that's kind of wide, but I don't mind having a little gap in places. So it doesn't have to be exactly the same. Every one you do. So there's the next one. And the next one. I think I'm going to get one more in that little gap there. Okay, filled. So you see we've got any of the little spaces left there. I'm going to go in and fill them with a bit of ink. This gives that a little bit of darkness in the middle. Now here where I've got a bit of a gap, I'm going to imagine I've got a little bit of a space there. And fill in so that I don't have to go all the way up there. Just little bits. Okay. So I'm going to look at the next row now. 
and I want to look in between the shapes I've done. So I'm going to start here this time rather than there. I'm going to start here and I'm going to come out and put another shape in there. So if I work my way around, same again. Now, of course, these are not going to be touching this time. But if you follow that curve there, it's going to get you started. And this one looks like it's going to be a bit close to that one. That's fine. And the next one. And I'm going to keep working my way around with this shape. Following along. And here we go. To this one. And the next one. So I'm using that line as a guide that I put in earlier. So there, just to help keep these a similar size. So we don't get too carried away and wander off get bigger as we're going around just makes it easier and the next one one more to do after this and then we'll stop for a moment and have a look at what we've done so far okay so that's how it looks so far we've got this the five that I used in the middle and we've got these lovely shapes going around okay so I'm gonna just sort of go in a little bit here and I'm gonna do three little lines just at the bottom of those petals and I'm working my way around they're all going to be slightly different sizes and notice I'm starting from the point I'm working my way upwards from the point upwards see how that kind of just sort of works it around and it's going to make that centerpiece a little bit darker still. And around. I'm going to keep going until I've done all of them. Let's have a little look at that. You see? Looks like they've got eyelashes now. Same with this. And again, just in that bottom edge. Oh, didn't really get three in there at all. I sort of drew them, but I was so light with the pen then. So the transfer through into this one. Okay. See how that just again gives it a little bit of dimension as we're working our way around. And that one. So. Okay, let's have a little look. So far, so good. Okay, so we've still got gaps and spaces around this outside edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with more of the shapes. But you see this time, they're going to be sort of slightly different how they fit in. So they're almost like hiding behind the other one. And each one I want you to try, if you can, to make it look a little bit different. So gives it a little bit more realism around the edge. See, so that one's sort of in the middle there. This one I'm going to do slightly to the side there. This one to the side there. See, I can get another sort of one or two in there as well and fill up the space. So again, like I'm going to go for one in the middle, maybe. And one there, look. And around, so. That one's slightly more to the right. And sort of keep going. Trying to put it in a little bit differently. So let's do one here, look. To the left, I'm going to leave that gap. We can always fill it afterwards. But I want to see how it looks first. So you see some sit behind and some are in full view. Depends what you space is like okay so I'm not going to put any sort of lines in between them they're kind of hidden behind anyway so we can't really see much of what's going on so 
I'm going to come back and rub those lines out in a short while, but let's make a start. I'm going to go from here and I'm going to bring a line out. And I'm going to slightly double it there so it's a little bit wide there and then it's going up to a point. So I'm going to come in and fill that bit in there. See, so you can see that better. And then I'm going to come at the top and put myself a leaf in. And then I'm going to come down one side. So I'm going to get along the See, always going from that bottom and then joining at the point at the top. You can sort of kink it a little bit if you want. And then I'm going to come through part of the leaf and I'm going to join it to that stem line. There we go. So let's do another one. So that one sort of went this way. Here I'm going to come in. Let's go there. I'm going to put one in a little bit smaller, but it's going in that direction this time. Let's have a look at that. Turning it round. Same as before. Now you're going to have some look that you're going to go behind. It's fine. We want that little bit of interest there anyway. And then we go. It gives me that. So I'm going to work my way around and do a few of these. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of these shapes in to start with. So maybe one there. Look, I'm going to split it around a little bit. I'm not going to go all in the same place. Put, looks like a little <laughs> antennae that does. Let's get one in there. Again, I'm going to fill them up as I go. Maybe a little one there. And put one in here. That's sort of given me some sort of starting point. So I'm going to come in now and again, I'm going to put my leaves on. So working sort of from the bottom outwards. And it depends on how long your original stem is. Depends on how many of those leaves you get on. Uh, move to the next one. Again, all the way down, follow it through there, and into that one. Again, a line part way, put it in, like so. So, same thing on the others, into there. And you could equally have been fine using a white pen with this. Being that my tile's a bit darker, but I wanted to go with a black pen today. Shows you've got the best of both worlds with them, doesn't it? And I've got them there. And another one here. See, I think if you go from the top down, you don't quite kind of get the same point at the top there, so... As tempting as it is to try and sort of train yourself to do leaves that way. Okay, so we've got a few in. I think we need a few more though. So I'm going to bring one out here, a little bit smaller. Again, I'm going to imagine where I think it would work. Let's put one sort of here, a bit bigger. Fill that bit in. So you've got two there, two there, one there, three there, two there. Let's bring another one in here. So I'm trying to sort of even it out a little bit if I can. Let's just go out a little bit. And the same again. Leaves. They're real easy leaves though. They, there's nothing to them. They're just little flourishes. As you work your way around. Another one. Oh, I'm not going 
get too many on there. Sort of in like that. And this one, see again, I'm not going to get too many there, but that's fine. I want them all to be different sizes. Okay, to this one. Okay, looking so good. So I'm not going to put more leaves in. I'm going to bring my uh, my rubber in now and get rid of those uh, little bits there. Just giving me that shape. Okay. So I'm going to come in with them. Um, let's have a look. I'm going to do a little line here. And a bobble on the end. Let's go in a little bit there. Sometimes when we want to zoom, it doesn't let me. <laughs> there you go. And it happens all at once and it's blurred. Okay. So let's go round. Then I'm going to back on myself. And I'm going to do like a zigzag, getting smaller and smaller. So I'll work my way up. Some little bobbles. One side. And the other. Do another one of them. Let's sort of put one in here, not too far up there. Kind of behind those leaves. And again, I'm going to do like a, a zigzag. And then I'm going to put just one that side. See? So let's work our way around. I'm putting a few of those in. Now you can sort of make them turn. And you don't have to put bobbles in on all of them. I'm going to do that with mine. Put one up this side. And in you go. It's all like little hands waving, aren't they, then? Let's uh, put one in there. So I'm kind of putting them in and around where the leaves are. Just so they've got something to sit in with. They're not on their own. This one there, look. And then we can have a look again and, and see what we've got going on. So I think we're going to, let's do one more there. So I'm zigzagging my way around. All the bobbles. Okay, let's have a little look at that. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple of little line around around the edges so they just sort of look like little bits disappearing in the distance there all slightly different sizes try and make them the same and just a few in this little bit there and a few there okay so that's give my white pencil now so I'm going to use this like I would my regular pencil so a tortillon's going to work just fine with it and, uh, I'm just going to make sure I've got I'm going to rub that off a little bit okay all right let's go in a little bit then see what we're going to do let's start just on one side of this and I'm going to put some little bits of white inside a few of those little bobbles there. So I'm not going to go all the way around. I just want a few. Those little areas. And then at the top of the petals, I'm going to come in and add a little bit of white. I'm going to start in the middle ones. Getting into that point. And bringing it out. Got a little bit of a highlight on there. Now, if you're using a white tile, it's going to be a little bit awkward using a white chalk pencil. Well, that's okay. You can use your regular pencil and you can get the same effect. It'll just be that it's dark there rather than light. So, you've got this. Okay, I'm going to bring it round. Bring a bit of white to those as well. Even the ones that are at the back there. 
coming in and putting that little bit on the edge. So don't forget, if you're sharpening this, you always put it in the freezer first. Just want to solidify it a little bit. It's very brittle because it is it is chalk. And sharpening it can be a little bit tricky if you, you don't. It can break easy. So just be aware of that. It works fine. have a little look at what we've got going on there okay so my little squigglies i'm going to add a little bit of white to one edge doesn't matter which edge just giving it a little highlight there i'm just going to come in with my torty on and softly kind of move that up a bit i'm not trying to remove it it will move about a little bit, but just be gentle with it. Just going to merge it in a little bit like we do with a regular pencil. Just on the edges there. And just kind of work your way around systematically, a little bit at a time. It's not going to take much. Of those a little bit in the middle there so I'm now thinking now using a blue tile so being that it's dark I'm going to bring my black editions in just because they're a little bit easier to work with when you're working on a darker cardstock so here we go All there sort of mixed and matched in with other pencils, but that's fine. So what have I got here? I've got my uh, Tranquil Blue. So it's quite a dark blue. But what I'm going to do is use a little bit of it at the base of each of those petals. I'm not going to try and blend it or anything. I don't want it really connecting with that chalk particularly. So almost like little zigzags again. See, just working their way around creating that little bit of colour in there. Okay. And same in here, I'm going to aim for those points and bring a bit of darkness into there as well. Just kind of work your way around to those bits. You can do this again if you wanted to with a regular pencil or I would perhaps, you know, shade it with a regular pencil and then bring a bit of colour into it just to give it a bit of a difference. See? I need a bit of purple there. So I've got my purple jewel. I'm just going to touch, you know, just touch it in the corners just to make sure we're getting something dark in there. We want that light to stand out, so I'm going to come around there a little bit more. See? And a uh, little bit of purple haze. I'm going to pull in a little bit of that kind of a bit of pink. It's more of a magenta, I suppose, than a, a purple to speak, but again, just Bring in a little bit. See how it's warming those colours up a little bit. Just very gently. Nothing major. Just a few little bits. I'm not going all the way around. I'm just doing a little bit down here. Just a little bit of that kind of pinky glow in there. Okay. And a touch of green. I'm going to come in with my peacock blue actually it's a lovely color i'll add a little bit in so i'm not going to completely color the leaves in let's go in a little bit so it's almost that i'm adding a little bit it's kind of to one side i'm not going to blend it or anything it's just 
mixing with that color underneath. Yeah, giving those leaves a little bit of interest. Again, you can use your pencil and tortillon if you want to. You can shade this as we go around. And just sort of wander around there and doing those little bits. See how that kind of just sort of lifts those leaves a little bit. It kind of brings in that extra little bit of dimension in there. Okay, let's have a little look at that. Zoom in. No. You know, sometimes it does this. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to bring a little bit of my regular pencil in for a moment. I'm going to add a bit underneath this part of the flower here. Not really worried about going over whatever's already there. Just in that bottom edge. And then tortillon. Let's, let's give that a little bit of a backdrop there. Okay. See, I'm going over the leaves and everything else. It's fine. It just needs a little bit of shadow there. So, as, as quick as that one was, that's uh, today's tile, all done and sorted. So, yeah, loving that. I think I will actually just bring a little bit of, uh, a little bit, just a touch of green in that bottom edge there. Just to bring a little bit of something. There it is. So, signature to go. Put that in that bottom edge there. And there you go, all done for today. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have a go, and of course post it on the page. And uh, yeah, when's next? Uh, tomorrow, Kane's going to do the little tile. So he's going to hopefully get that done in the morning. Uh, I'm going to be on Hobby Maker tomorrow afternoon, all being well. So in the meantime, have a good one, everybody, and enjoy this one. And I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>